Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Capricorn, you guys got Swan Spirit. Time for a deep dive, number 60. All I can notice today is the face of the swan, and the face of the swan looks kind of sad, to be honest. And I think that Capricorn, whatever you're whatever you're taking a look at, I think it makes you like it it upsets you. Right? Like whatever it is that you're trying to look deeper into. I think it upsets you, but I think it's something that like you have to look at. Like you can't keep ignoring it. That's what I'm getting with this. And I feel like you might have even turned your back away from a situation or a person and now you're you're looking at why you did that. Like there's definitely some regret here. That's what I'm getting with this take time for a deep dive. And I think you've just been trying to go around the situation for a very long time and now it's finally time to take a look at it and i think it brings you a lot of pain and like a lot of sadness but again it's just something that you have to look at i keep thinking i keep seeing the face like i think you're very sad when you look at this i think you're full of regret when you look at this but you just have to look at it and i think you know that it's time for that and that's why they're saying it's time for a deep a deep dive so i'm getting capricorn there's something that you're facing that you've probably not looked at in a while and i think it's a very strong thing for you to do to face whatever this is so i'm getting also something with the springtime so i feel like if you take a look at it now i feel like the springtime could be you know more enjoyable for you because you already kind of did that hard work now and i know spring is about to happen you know um it's like i think march 20th that spring starts so officially <laughs> so i feel like maybe you just need to sit for a month you know it, it'll be like almost a month that you're sitting there just kind of healing and taking a look at it and you know maybe making decisions as well because i feel like again whatever you're looking at it hurts but i think it will bring you clarity and then in the springtime you can take some sort of action right you can make a move movement afterward but yeah i just feel like someone here is finally like taking a look at something and they're finding they have a lot of regret when it comes to a situation so that's why i'm getting capricorn let's pull some more cards on this so capricorn i feel like this reading is about this masculine energy who is in regret over the way they treated a feminine and i think the feminine is a water sign or again um a water sign is pisces scorpio cancer or it's just the energy of these people right because we have three queens out we have the queen of wands we have the queen of pentacles and we have the queen of cups so i feel like it's a um, you see how they're coming up on opposite ends of the read. I feel like the masculine is upset over the way they treated this queen of cups. And with the 10 and the 10 and this queen of cups, there was an ending between this queen of cups and this masculine energy. And I feel like um, this is where the regret lies, right? Because I feel like this is the only person that this person ever, this masculine, this masculine feels like this feminine was the only person that they were really able to look at a future with. And see a future with right like this is maybe someone who's not very committal this is not someone who's very like you know thinking necessarily too much about the future but when they did think about the future i feel like they thought about this queen of cups in it and for some reason i feel like they decided to move away from this queen of cups you know something happened between the two of these people and i think the masculine just decided to walk away it was like maybe easier to walk away right and now i feel like 
you know, the easiest thing maybe was to walk away, but now the hardest thing to do is to take a look at like why they walked away, right? And I feel like they're trying to like let this feminine know or they want this feminine to know that with the three of cups in reverse, we have the three of cups in reverse here and the three of cups up right here. So I feel like this person kind of tried to take the easier way out. Um, not because they... Honestly, I think there's just so much, there's so much between the Queen of Cups and this masculine, and I don't know if they necessarily knew how to communicate, you know, because like at the end here, we have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like the whole problem this entire time has been communication. We have all this cup energy here, the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Three of Cups, right? Um, yeah, we have all this cup energy associated with this Queen of Cups, but we don't have any communication, right? We don't have any like, you know, we don't have any grounding either. We don't have any pentacle energy. So this is all in the emotions, but there is no, you know, this this knight of, this is what was needed, this knight of coins. The knight of coins is someone who makes a slow and steady, you know, contribution to a relationship, but it doesn't necessarily falter because it is slow and it is steady. And even if there wasn't that much communication between these two people, at least it was two people that were like digging their heels and trying to put in work to in a relationship. But this person is understanding that they didn't do that. Do you know what I mean? They didn't fight for the relationship. They didn't dig their heels and they just ran away. And I feel like with the fool in reverse, they're understanding that they just they just ran away. Do you know what I'm saying? Like they just run away. They they didn't go for something that was like more difficult, right? Like they went for the more easier thing. Like the easiest way out of this was probably just running away. The easiest thing um, out of this, and I feel like they met a karmic. The funny thing, like it's not funny, but the crazy thing about this relationship is like they met a karmic and they feel like this karmic really, really played them right because they have the magician in reverse next to the empress with justice in reverse with the queen of wands in reverse so what i'm getting with this karmic is like the karmic was someone who i think they want they want you to know like the karmic appeared to be an empress like they appeared but i think it was all an illusion right this person this masculine energy is in deep regret because it's like this person appeared to be this empress but now the more time i spend with this queen of wands the more time i realize that this person is like not a, not is not anything, not, nothing like a, a true empress, right? With these two cards, with these three, with all these cards, it's like, it's actually ridiculous how much of an empress this is not. You know, this is all a facade. This person, you know, they might dress well and they might look nice, but like inside, I feel like there's nothing there. And I don't know why this person, I don't know where this masculine was at where they didn't realize, do you know what I'm saying? Like they had no idea for a very long time. And I think the reason they didn't have any idea was because again, they weren't going deep into their emotions. They weren't trying to figure shit out. They were just running away. When you run away, when you run away, right? And you, um, it's like, it's like, it's like lying to yourself, right? Like if you lie to yourself, then how can someone else not lie to you, right? It's like this this energy is being mirrored, right? So if this person lied to themselves and ran away from a situation, then they have someone lying to them. You know what I mean? Like truly lying to them. Um, and that's that's what I feel like is the worst thing about this is that they they really got played by this by this Queen of Wands, right? And I feel like this Queen of Wands might also have, you know, um, earth in their chart because I feel like we have two opposing feminines here but again this this what's interesting is like the fact that this this feminine is coming up with the earth energy that we needed so badly on the other side shows that I feel like this person did decide to this masculine did decide to put in more work with this other feminine like it's actually very unfair because they like they did put and yeah it is unfair justice is in reverse it's unfair because they decided to put more work in with this person here that they i feel like they didn't necessarily even know you know what i mean it was just kind of like a spur of the moment thing it was based on like outward appearance again this has a lot to do with like it's a facade it's a trick right so with judgment in reverse the three of cups and the five of cups in reverse it's like this person numbed the pain for a little bit but what the masculine is beginning to realize with judgment in reverse is like this person again is not what they seem to be this person that i've invested time in now is not exactly is not what i thought they were I, they're not a true empress you know what i'm saying like yeah the empress card is here but everything surrounding this person is not is not necessarily 
any type of empress energy. Do you know what I'm saying? With justice in reverse and the magician in reverse, um, it's just a, it's like a straight up manipulation in some sort of way. So again, it's like I think this person was very, you know, when you don't really know someone. You know, you don't really know someone. And it feels like this masculine just jumped the gun and went into another relationship very quickly. But now it's like, <laughs> you don't even know this person. Do you know what I'm saying? So you gave up on someone or you, you know, this was a lot of work, this queen of cups. And you just kind of like ran away. And now you look at the person you're looking at, you know, you lie in bed with or whatever. And you don't know this person. And like what you get, what do you, what you are beginning to know. And I feel like as this person got to know this person more and more, the more and more they realized that this was not the right person. Like this was not the true empress. But they put already a lot of time and investment to this person. So I don't know. I feel like where they're at now is like they're seeing the truth. You know, they're seeing the truth. They put a lot of time into someone that didn't really warrant that time and it's kind of sad because this masculine um they're just full of regret like i keep getting that with the swan time for a deep dive like they're just full of regret this masculine and you know now with all this cup energy they're beginning to see things the right way right they're beginning to see with the self card and the eight of cups and the nine of cups yeah and you see how we're going back right like as we go towards the queen of wands we go from the nine to the eight so we're going backwards. That's what I'm saying. Like this person had to learn this lesson. It's like a regression, right? It's a regression of energy. Yeah, we go 10, 9, 8. <laughs> yeah, this person went backwards, you know? And it's like it's like a karmic lesson, you know? What, what, what would you say a karmic lesson is? I feel like it is going backwards. It is trying to relearn something. It is trying to look at something um, from a new perspective because maybe you didn't get it the first time. Maybe you didn't get it the second time. Maybe you didn't get it the third time. So... We're going to make sure you get it this time. And they're getting it. They're getting the lesson, but it's just sad that it took like a regression. You know, it took like, you know, um, yeah, that's all I can get. Like a regression, like the, the energy is going backwards. You know what I mean? They were already at the 10. Um, and then instead of going straight to the one, they went nine, eight, seven. That's what all I keep getting with this now. It's like, oh, wow. They literally just went right backwards. You know what I mean? Um, and it's interesting with the cards here because... Um, I'm seeing here that they they're I, this had a lot to do with their emotions and their desires So again, it's like the desire to not be alone the desire to like move forward the desire to be right The desire to be on the right path the desire to show everyone that you're okay You know all these desires that this person had What were they for? Do you know what I'm saying like were they for everyone else or were they for this actual person? Because now this person is stuck with a person that they don't necessarily want to be with and what i'm getting with this is that i feel like they're going to make the decision to like leave this feminine to leave this queen of wands right with the lovers in reverse i feel like they've either i feel like they've already made this decision right the truth is the truth is that like they went for a higher level of commitment with someone that they didn't know and the truth is that this person didn't warrant this type of commitment like this queen of cups did and it's just sad for this person. Like, that's all I'm getting with this person. It's sad. It's sad that they put, you know, they gave an offer to someone and maybe a high level of commitment to this queen of wands um, out of, like, fear and indecision and out of, you know, just, like, you know, moving around. Um, and now they're just in deep regret because they didn't treat this queen, this queen of cup right. You know what I mean? And this is the only person that they can see themselves with, like, their long-term fulfillment with and their long-term like family was with this queen of cups so again this could have been like a divorce um and now it's like or you know an ending of a relationship where you see a man like just run away and go to someone new and you think like they're super happy but i don't feel like this person is happy this person is trapped you know what i mean and the energy that they should have been taking the time out in the person that they are like had already they put it in with someone new and now it's just like why did i do that do you get what I'm saying? And I feel like this feminine has a lot of ways to get this masculine to not see with judgment in reverse with the three of cups. I feel like it's like, it wasn't only the fact that this masculine didn't want to be sad, but it's like, okay, like I'm going to make sure this person doesn't, you know, like it's having a good time with me. You know what I mean? So like a lot of parties, a lot of going out, you know, a lot of superficial shit. But at the end of the day, there's no, you know, 
the foundation to this is stronger only because the masculine put a lot of time into it but that doesn't mean like this relationship is strong do you know what i'm saying it's kind of like how it appears on the outside not what it really is in the inside because all the cups i feel like are associated with the queen of cups but i mean i wonder what this masculine is going to do because they see the truth but it's like what are they going to do now So it says that the masculine is just sitting in a nine of swords energy. The nine of swords energy is someone who's in anxiety, someone who's fearful, someone like this person's literally crying, someone who's trapped, right? So we have the eight of swords and the nine of swords. The good thing about this is that I feel um, we're moving up at least. We go from the eight to the nine of swords, right? Um, and then we have the seven of cups in reverse with the six of cups in reverse so again we have this regression energy but i think it's actually a good thing because this person is not indecisive anymore right it's saying like i'm this person's not indecisive and i feel like this person might honestly break the relationship that they have i mean i'm hoping it's with the karmic because like you know what would be the point i mean it, it really it really it really is up to this person they're gonna break a relationship with someone i feel like they've already broken their relationship with the queen of cups so now i feel like the only person left to break the relationship with is this queen of wands so i feel like there's a moment of truth for this person the moment of truth for this person is like that they chose wrong <laughs> that they didn't do the right thing that they ran away that they've invested time in the wrong person and now the real truth is it, you know it haunts them it makes them feel like shit, obviously but the good thing about this whole thing is that even though they're feeling anxious and even though they're feeling like shit and even though they're not feeling good, they're, they're clear. You know what I mean? Like this whole illusion, this, all this illusion, all this like facade, like, oh, you know, I made the right choice or it's, I, I want it to appear like this and I want it to appear that I'm happy. You can't, you can't do that anymore once you see the truth, especially with this ace. Um, and with the six of cups, I feel like this is like the ending of a relationship. I feel like they're going to break up with this third party because again, it's not a third party. It's this karmic, but yeah, it's just like, again, the emotions have a big role to play in this whole situation. It's like, again, there's no cup energy associated with this queen of wands. You know what I mean? It's all about like how it appeared. Right. But again, this person is not what they seem to be with the magician in reverse and justice in reverse and judgment in reverse. This person is not who they thought they were. This is just again. And whose fault is that? Is it was it this person's fault? Were they actually pretending to be someone different or was it just this masculine trying to run in the opposite direction? Do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, this person is going to break up with this feminine. I mean, that's what the energy seems like here. So we have the cosmic egg, the divine feminine. I hold the universe within me. I am the force of an ever expanding love. I feel like, I like that the egg came out because I feel like we're going back to the beginning, back to the start. I feel like this is trying to point out that everyone learns things at their own time because this has a lot to do with soul timing, right? And everyone learns things at their own pace and at their own time and nothing can be forced. And that's what I'm getting with this. It's like this person tried to force things a lot in, in, in a way that had a lot to do with fear and ego. And I feel like that's why they were tricked when it comes to who the true divine feminine was, right? Like they thought that this was the real divine feminine. But what I'm getting with this energy is like, they they didn't really know you know what their true divine feminine energy was until they got the opposite of that right so it's like if the queen of cups was you know a true divine feminine and then this other energy comes in and they it's like they, again they act like they're the you know a true they act like they're a feminine energy you know they act how do you not act like you're in a feminine energy but act like you're someone who wants to give right and you're acting like you're someone who is in this feminine energy this true divine feminine energy what I'm getting with this person is like they were not, you know what I mean? And it took the masculine such a long time to see what a real, you know, what the true divine feminine energy is and what the opposite of the divine feminine is. And I feel like this is the opposite over here because this other person doesn't lead to any sort of enlightenment. This other person doesn't allow for any sort of like change or growth. This person is like, again, I don't, I don't, 
I don't really blame this person either. I, I think it's more on the masculine side, you know. Maybe this other feminine was someone who was very tricky though with the Queen of Wands in reverse twice. This person could have been someone who, again, they seemed very giving. Like, again, that's a masculine principle, but they seemed to be someone who's like, again, very passionate, very sexual, very, you know, all the shit. But it's like, okay, what do I'm getting in return for this, right? Because the Queen of Wands in reverse is someone who's like, okay, I'll give you whatever you want in bed and like, I'll, I'll be your wildest fantasies, right? But then like, there's a price at the end of it, right? Whereas I feel like a true feminine energy, you know, they just give because they want to give. Do you know what I'm saying? And they, they, they're like, again, when it comes to sexual energy, I feel like they're very balanced in that, in that energy, right? It's like, I give because I want to give. Um, I receive when it's time for me to receive. There is no like, I do this for you. Now, what are you going to do for me? And that's what this other person's all about. It's like, okay, so now what are you going to do for me? And that's what this masculine had to learn. Like the true feminine energy is someone who will give the true empress, right, is someone who, again, is not someone who's taken advantage of, but it is someone who, you know, gives from the heart and doesn't give because they want to receive something in return, right? So I feel like that's like the bigger lesson behind this read. It's that this feminine energy on this side always is looking to receive something, like be compensated for the smallest acts or just normal acts like, you know, loving someone. Whereas I feel like the queen of cups is someone who, you know they give because they want to give like there's nothing behind it there's nothing malicious behind it there's nothing like there's no incentive here see what i'm saying so i feel like that this has been a very hard lesson for this masculine because um they got tricked you know but again it was like why did you get tricked you know what i mean and i feel like i keep looking at these two cards underneath i feel like they really this masculine truly like ran away and then decided you know to put like all their effort into somebody and now it's like they put their efforts in the wrong person but they they they're not understanding that because i feel like they thought that they were being balanced and they thought that they were being you know true but now i feel like again it's like everything was fake even their own like balance was fake right like they kept saying to themselves i think this stems from themselves like my own self is not okay but I'm going to force and run into something new because I don't want to deal with the pain and the hurt of like what happened between me and this Queen of Cups. So they just like ran in the opposite direction, tried to pretend like they were, you know, fine. Like, I'm fine. I'm good. I don't need this other person. I've healed. But I don't think this is like necessarily true. I think this is like them telling themselves that they're okay, telling themselves that they're fine. Um, but with the moon, it's like, I don't know if this person was actually fine because if they were fine, maybe they wouldn't have gotten themselves into the situation in the first place. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. This person is very complicated, but I do see like they, they're definitely learning the hard way who the real divine feminine is. Have everyone, I love you guys. I hope this resonates and helps and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.